Thank you, Speaker. Um, Mr. Zuma, it's November 2017, more than 18 months since you first learned from the public protector that there were serious allegations of what is now called state capture. And we've seen the attempted to challenge an accord to stop from being published. And by all accounts, as the executive manager of government, you have done nothing in respect of the revelations of corruption and capture. Now, I'm trying to make my question as simple as possible for you to understand it, Mr. President. Mr. Zuma, do you think, as the president of a Republic of South Africa, this country, that it would be in your best interest and in the best interest of a country that you appoint the Independent Commission to investigate the revelations of corruption and state capture as a matter of urgency. Thank you. The Honourable the President. <coughs> Thank you, uh, Madam uh, Speaker. I have said in a number of occasions that I am ready to establish a commission of inquiry, judicial one. The problem that we have faced is that you had the public protector investigating and producing a report which is called capture report or state capture report or whatever you call it correctly. Once that report was given, I then said the remedial action of the public protector was unconstitutional that I have to, to undertake. And I took the report for the review. So I've never said and did nothing. I took action to review the report recently. That matter was heard and you are waiting for the judgment. What in terms of the law, as I know in this country, that if the matter is in court, same matter, state capture report, I couldn't establish a commission of the same thing. You can't. Lawyers say it is a matter that is sub Judy Kerr, right? <laughs> now, <clears throat> you want me to break the law. Whilst the matter is being handled in court, I establish another parallel process. And I had to do that earlier than anything else. And I'm ready after the judgment, I'm going to establish it immediately. There's no doubt about it. All these issues that people talk about, they are going to go to that commission. So we'll prove the liars and the truths. It is coming, my dear. Don't worry. It is coming. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. The one Honorable Zoama. Honorable, Honorable Speaker, can you protect me? You are well protected, Honorable Speaker. We are, we are only two in this National Assembly. Honorable Speaker, Honorable President, you are truly a disciple of deception. I'm convinced today that your presidency is equal to work of shame. You know? that your family has made Saxon wealth their pilgrimage. Honorable President, I truly believe that you need a rehabilitation of conscience. Give us the real reason why you have put our country to auction. Why do you, have, why do you engineer our state-owned enterprises to profit your family and friends? I know, Honorable, Honorable, Honorable President, that your words lack honor and are always saturated with falsehoods. But when are you going to put Honourable the love of, of your country 
and its people first before self-enrichment. There's a point of order. Uh, uh, Honorable Hatebe, what's the uh, point uh, of order? I'm, I'm rising on Rule 85. Yes. The member is casting aspersions on the character of the president. Honorable Kawama, you know how to channel the issues that you are raising that are referred to as casting aspersions. I'm, Honor, honor, you honor, know the correct yeah. thing to do, and I wish you to desist yes. honor, and to proceed honor, to channel those issues if you have them. Honorable Speaker, our sitting president is even expect. I don't know what a special is he talking honorable about. Honorable Kawama. But I have answered my... I've, honorable I've, Kawama, can you withdraw the statements you made before you got to this point where you are about to ask a question? Okay, Honorable Speaker, I will withdraw that one. My question is, Honorable President, when are you going to put our country first before self-enrichment? Honorable Kawama, if you are going to say a sitting president is guilty of self-enrichment, then you must please submit that allegation in the correct way, meet it. But you cannot let think that it can stand in the house as a valid question. Honorable Speaker, you see, our problem is that we are actually saving him. We don't even want to tell him in his face. Honorable Tawama. He is missing our country, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Tawama. Of using proverbs. Honorable Tawama, I'm not recognizing that as a valid question, and I proceed to allow the Honourable Honourable Speaker. I'm, on, I'm allowing Honorable Sheikh Imam to uh, uh, ask the next supplementary question. Honourable Speaker. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Mr. President. Honourable Speaker. No, Honourable Carter, I don't know on what you are rising, but otherwise. Honourable Speaker. What are you rising on, Honourable Carter? Honorable Tuama's question is a valid question. Honorable Kata, please take your seat. Honorable You've asked your question. The president has answered. But he's we are asked proceeding a valid with supplementary questions. And I don't want to have this uh, engagement with you on the floor. But Honorable Speaker, please take it a was seat, a valid Honorable Kata. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Mr. President. We hear a lot about state capture. Now, what we don't hear about is, is that just prior to the 1994 elections, many companies in South Africa and from abroad were given contracts for 30 and 40 years. Is this going to be part of that investigation to see whether that was in order? And clearly that was to benefit a few. Thank you. The Honorable the President. Thank you, uh, Honorable uh, Speaker. The commission that's going to be established is going to, they point fingers to others that they are corrupt. The truth will be found. If there are people, and there are, who have come to say corruption started long before 1994, on the wealth of the state, on the properties of the state. So those who are calling for it are going to regret. It's going to, re it's going to investigate corruption in the country. As long as the citizens are able to say, this is what we would want to be investigated, that commission, that judicial commission will investigate. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honorable Mabasa. Honorable President, seeing that you are going to appoint a parliamentary commission to conduct an inquiry when the Judicial Commission is competent to do, to execute the inquiry. The Honorable the President. Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. As I've just explained when I was answering the question, that there was an investigation done by the public protector and produced a report, state capture report, 
in that report, I felt there were aspects that were unconstitutional. And I took the board to review. So this matter has been in the hands of the court. Now, that is what made me not to establish another commission on the same issues, although I wanted to do so. In fact, at one point, I thought I would do so, but the legal people said you can't do it because the matter is sub care. Now, the fact that Parliament, as a different arm of the state, takes a process, I don't know what it I don't know. Parliament has its own time to take its own decisions, do whatever it does, but I think it is always important to remember the separation of powers, particularly if the matter is being handled by another <clears throat> arm of the state. I don't know, I'm sure, my impression was that Parliament discussed, logically felt it should do this. I'm not, I'm not a judge to judge. If Parliament thought that one, which was in the hands of the protector, would be no longer there. So we'll be dealing with one commission. Repeat, have another commission, have another inquiry. That is up to those who do it. It's not my call. Thank you.